Hello Winabbers, my name is Jesse Meekum from Winab. It stands for You Need a Budget. You do. And uh, we try and keep the budget fairly simple. Oh, by the way, this is another Whiteboard Wednesday. I'm glad to be back. We try and keep it simple. We try and keep the math simple. It is just pluses and minuses for the most part. Occasionally an average thrown in here and there. But I want to talk, and I've talked about this before, but I want to talk about it again and just kind of give you a glimpse into what we're thinking about currently. This spawned from my desire to change the calculation of that to be budgeted number that's the top of your month. And it's green if it's positive and if it's red if you've over budgeted. And it's a little bit confusing. It's a tough number to get your head around. So this has kind of come from that uh, with some experiments that have failed, frankly. And now I'm back to the drawing board. I want to talk about a core principle of the software and just a little bit of math. So if you have category A with 100 bucks, B with 200, and C with 50, you have total cash on hand of $350. If you spend 100 in A, you're good. If you spend 200 in B, you're fine, and you can still spend 50 in C. Now, if you decide to spend 100 in C, so we're going to basically put you in the red 50, there. What do you have as far as cash on hand? Let me erase this with my thumb. Instead of 100, 200, so the 350 here, you've spent 100, so you're down to 250, right? So actual real cash on hand, and I'll put it over here, whoops, is 250. This is where my handwriting gets bad because I didn't have it all perfect and prepped. With $250 cash on hand because you spent 100, remember you had a positive 50 and you dropped it down to a negative 50. Everyone's done this, right? You see this in your budget all the time. So you're negative 50 there. So 100 plus 200 is 300. Minus 50 is 250. 300 minus 50, 250. But this is the problem. And this is probably maybe a review for some and first time for others. We're saying you, have, you do have actual cash on hand of 250. But we're saying here that A has 100 that you can spend and B has 200 that you can spend. So if you were to just follow your budget, and we always say check your category balances. Like we, we say like pull out your phone and look at the category balance and see what it is and then you can spend that much. So if you were to follow that part of the advice, you'd say oh I have 100 in A so I can spend that. So you spend all of A and you get that down to zero. And then and now you don't have 250 left, you have 150 left because you spent 100. And then you spend another 200 there, so minus 200 there. That goes down to zero. You're at minus 50 overall. We just spent $300. So if I subtract the 300, we're overdrafted by 50. This happens when your category balance is $100 overspent, $500 overspent, when three of them combined are $1,000 overspent. This is why, in what I like to call the red arrow incident, um, red arrow gate, maybe arrow gate, arrow gate sounds good. This is why we killed that red arrow, because people were rolling the overspending forward and we were ending up with incorrect category balances. As soon as you have a penny overspent, we can't say you can go ahead and spend this money. Now, of course, everyone sits with a lot of slush, but to give directions to the masses and say, yeah, just follow your category balance, follow your category balance, when we know that some of them have lots of slush, and rainy day funds, just all those true expenses building up, and they've got plenty of cash. So if they're overspent by a thousand, two thousand bucks, for some of you, it doesn't even matter. You're like, Jesse, why worry about that? But I don't worry about you because you're rocking and rolling. You've been doing YM for a while. I worry about the person that just started and is right on the line, has $200 in their checking account at any given moment. And we don't wanna send that person off the rails. That's where we focus. So eventually, you guys that are experts, you're just like, I do the budget because it helps me line up my money with my priorities, I feel content, my relationships may be improved, blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm sitting on thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in my checking account. That's not unrealistic. Average wine ever after nine months, instead of having 300 bucks in their checking account, has on average 3,300. So it's real. Everyone just sits on a lot of money eventually. And I love the fact that we can be a small part of that. But this is still a problem for folks that are new and you're telling them go ahead and spend 100 and 200, but they can't really. They really only could spend 250. That's an issue. So 
Right now, to address that, and since the beginning of YNAM, well, almost, there was about a week when I wasn't selling it to anyone, and it was just me and Julie using it, and I noticed this problem early on. But to make sure that you don't roll those forward and constantly have incorrect category balances, we do what? With that to be budgeted up at the top, right? We call it TBB for short, but to be budgeted up at the top, we deduct whatever you've overspent in those categories with cash. We deduct that from your next month's to be budgeted. We eventually say, hey, you need to pay that back so that your, the 100 and 200 are actually correct. The question then remains, you could have someone with incorrect category balances if they overspend on day one of the month, they could, you know, and then we don't correct it until the next month's to be budgeted. You could have a span of, did anyone notice that I just moved here quite a bit? The card filled up. So we're back and I've emptied the card and I'm back in action. This is a long one, but it's important. Someone could have incorrect category balances basically for as long as 30 days or if the incorrectness happened on day 29, maybe just one day. Essentially, they have incorrect category balances as long as they haven't yet been paid and put that into to be budgeted. And this is an issue I'm wrestling with. How appropriate is it for us to accept that someone is overspent anywhere from one to 30 days, assuming they're paid every 30 days, right? Or, or thereabouts. So if they're paid right here, then it's correct because we've actually reimbursed. Or if they've paid here, it's correct, so we've reimbursed. Or they make the mistake here and then they're paid right here, so they were incorrect for a day, two days. We don't know exactly how it lands because everyone has different times that they're paid, they have different times that they sit down with their budget and record the payment, you know, as far as frequency goes. But this issue here, this is what's bothering me a little bit. So we're trying to figure it out. In the meantime, what do you with, do with all this? Just don't sit with red category balances. Red is bad. Red is very negative. Red should be fixed. So when you see something in the red, click on that category balance and adjust your money. Move 50 bucks from the B over to the C and get that to zero. So you have 150 here and 100 here and 100 plus 150 equals that 250 and everything's back in business. Don't sit with red category balances. Fix those. Now, there are orange category balances. That's where you've overspent with a credit card. Fix those as well. We don't want you going into credit card debt, but we do recognize that you're not actually spending cash with that credit card. You're taking debt. So fix reds, okay? Then fix oranges and sit with a lot of green. Green is happy. Green is good. Green grass. I wish I had it right now. But this is the principle. This is the key. And I just don't want you to sit for any length of time with category balances that are telling you, hey, it's okay to spend me when it's actually not. Especially, especially, especially if you're brand new to YNAP and we're just getting you rolling with it. For all of you people that are like, Jesse, I don't even care. You probably stopped watching two minutes ago, and it doesn't matter anyway. I will see you guys next week. Looking forward to it.